So on, on the boy girl thing, which people think I really shouldn't still be singing about, but <laughs> I have never grown up, I'm afraid. So uh, yeah, this one's called Never Come. And it, it has a double meaning. And I don't know. I, I got divorced recently and I'm dating again after many years. And well, blokes are older now because I'm older. And uh, anyway, this one's called Never Come. <laughs> I don't know if it's me or them I'm talking about. <laughs> Sounding, but I think quite a lot of girls have thought, well, I wonder what it would have been like to be in a boy. Not because you want a willy, but because you can be mean more easily and get away with it. I don't have to smile so much. So if I had been a boy, I'd have been a shit boy because it would have been more of a laugh, I reckon, having been a girl first. But if you're born a boy, you have to be nice. Should have been a boy, I wouldn't have been nice. How do boys do that? They cut you out of their minds. I should have been a boy. I wouldn't have been nice. I'd like girls with long hair and any colour eyes. I would have been in prison. My friends say I'd be dead. I'd have quite a few deep scars and I'd be good in bed. I should have been a boy, I wouldn't have been nice. How do boys do that? They cut you out of their minds. I should have been a boy, then I'd never cry. And as I walked away from you, I wouldn't think twice. I'd like clever girls with a little bit of rough. I'd hitchhike around the world and my body would keep up. I 
telecaster and uh, it was all a bit, a bit spooky out there. Once upon a time in a deep dark wood where heroes aren't so kind and little girls aren't good. A handsome knight he came to me Let's see, let's see, let's see, 
fresh meat, he likes it raw, likes it raw, likes it raw. History lesson now. 1976. I'm sure you're all much too young to, to know this. <laughs> but I was rehearsing in a basement in Westbourne Grove in London with um, Palm Olive on drums, Sarah on bass, me on guitar, Sid on vocals and saxophone, Sid Vicious, and we were the Flowers of Romance. Named up by Johnny Rotten, which was such a brilliant name that he nicked it for his album later. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're quite innocent, we're getting on with our rehearsing every day in this boiling hot summer. We never saw any daylight, that's why I still got my skin. <laughs> and uh, we sort of, I don't know, couldn't play. We all, we all owned instruments, we'd all gone out and bought something or nicked something. But uh, we played all summer in that basement every day, even though none of us had a landline, let alone mobiles back then, and we turned up from all parts of London and rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed, and we emerged in September without one song. <laughs> and uh, we, we still were the coolest band in London at the time, the Flowers of Romance, we got followed around by journalists everywhere, we never played one gig, we never wrote one song, and we got into the history books with that one. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good, but anyway, so we were much more innocent than kids are now, even though it seemed sort of like a spiky type of thing, punk rock. But then one day into our lives came the Americans, the Heartbreakers from New York, a little bit older, a little bit wiser, a little bit meaner, and with them they brought needles, needles, so many needles, shiny needles, lined up in rows.
Actually, they brought Nancy Spongen with them as well. She was a groupie who followed them. So Sid Vicious went spiralling down because of that. Uh, can't, can't blame them particularly. I mean, he must have been that way, inclined. But, yeah, heroin entering the scene in the 70s. There wasn't really any around before then. Now I've got to find a bloody pig. Help, it's pitch black. That's a one. Is it hard? Is the actress sent to the bishop? Yeah, thank you very much, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I like a hard one. <coughs> right. This is kind of childish, this song, but amazingly, it does work for all generations. I still haven't grown up, as I said. I want more. Thank you. 
Honestly, I could just sing that for the whole evening so happily. I get completely into it. Because I reckon if you shout that at the universe, you get it back. <laughs> dedicated to all the couples out there. <coughs> all couples together now. All couples who split up. <laughs> it's called Couples Are Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know who I'm talking about. I do not want your man. He is not my type. I do not need a man because I feel alright. I'm giving up the dream. Letting go at last. My last couple of years in three and a half minutes. Yeah, a minute a year, really. It's called Confessions of a Milf. <laughs> Thank you. 
Who grabs the biscuits and a fancy box? <laughs> Never try to ruin another person's life. You will only lose your lovely friend at once. And don't like a guy go changing who he is. You are not a god, and it is not your place.